Hi, my name is Bowie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stay afloat. And I have found the best way to do that with the help of the Mermaid Handbook is to make this blue sea cocktail. <laughs> For this magical concoction, you're gonna need one and a half ounces of rum that you stole from a pirate, one ounce of blue curacao, a half an ounce of suze or any aperitif. Today, I have scavenged up a little vermouth that I found at the bottom of the ocean in a cargo ship that I may or may not have sunk. And then a half an ounce of meragino lucore that you can get from your siren friends in Italia. A half an ounce of simple syrup, which you can get from enchanting a sailor. Now, technically you're supposed to use lemons, but unfortunately that cargo ship that I may or may not have sunk only had limes. So that's what we're gonna use today. And then you're gonna need some ice cubes from your friends in the Arctic. Then you're gonna grab that shaker that you got from that pirate and combine all the ingredients together. Now you're gonna shake until cold, like my heart. Now it's time to enjoy your blue sea cocktail and let yourself just float away. So I don't think that you should be drinking cocktails on an empty stomach. So what if I made these crackers for us? I'll take care of it. And hi, my name is Bubbles. I'm the cute one. Oh, Bubbles, <laughs> it's you. Do you want to come float with me? Well, I guess I could float with you, but I have to finish these crackers first. Well, you're no fun, Bubbles. I should just pop you. Please don't pop me. Popping is very scary. Why are you so impatient? We ha you have to wait for me to finish. Okay. Okay, I can't trust you with that. Get it here. No, 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 no. I like floating. That's why my name is Bowie. No, 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 no. Don't take it away. <clears throat> I'm going to take it for now. You're bad. Okay, I guess I'll just swim over there and wait for you to make these seaweed crackers or whatever so you can bring me down from my float. You make floating seem like such a scary thing. And it's a thing we do every day, so... I guess I'll teach our new friends how to make these crackers too. So let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need seven tablespoons of unsalted butter. So basically, almost a whole stick of butter. I like butter. You're gonna need one cup of all-purpose flour. So the pirates that ship sunk and we stole their cargo, they're very bougie pirates, so we have some gluten-free flour. So. I don't know if that's gonna work as great, but it's what we got. It's hard to get, you know, dried goods underwater. A cup of grated Parmesan. The Bougie Pirates had some vegan Parmesan alternative. We'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna add some actual, you know, white cheddar cheese with balsamic vinegar in it to make it. Delicious. You're gonna need two tablespoons of sesame seeds, three tablespoons 
of chopped seaweed. I don't know who these pirates are. They got like the best snacks. A pinch of salt and an egg yolk, which is the least fun part of an egg. Step one, you grab a knife and you use the knife to chop butter. Chopping butter for crackers. It's very squishy. Now we put stuff in the food processor. You'll put in two tablespoons of white sesame seeds. We put flour. We put in combo of Parmesan cheese alternative and good cheese. Using your handy dandy marine food processor, you pulse two times to combine. This doesn't work. I'm going to put it in my single serve. You'll dump your mixture into your single serve unit. You then combine with two pulses. Slowly add butter and egg yolk to mixture. And I say slowly because you are using a single use thing because you can't kitchen. Continue to slowly add butter until all of butter is in. Try not to break. I forgot the seaweed. The heat from the food processor kind of melted the butter. But you want to mix it up until you, you got like a ball like consistency. And then you're gonna wrap it, put it in the fridge. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for like an hour. Ah, seaweed. Yeah, it's really buttery right now. It's been an hour, so I think we're good. It's time to preheat the oven for 350. You cover everything with parchment paper. I don't have parchment paper, so I'm gonna use Reynolds wrap. My next step is to lightly flour pork surface. I'm going to I'm going to flour it a lot because it's really, really oily right now. Here is flour. Now you roll it and pat it, and you mark it with the beef bubbles. This is fun. Okay, now it feels less gross. I think I just needed more flour. You roll the dough out into a square dough that is a fourth of an inch thick. I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm going to use this tariff. It's just as good important to be creative. We wait for all the perfect situations. You never make anything. I got sea theme cookie cutters so I can make cookies of our friends. There's a seahorse and a shark and a starfish and a seal, a cowrie shell, and a mermaid tail, like what I have, and fishy. So now we're just gonna cut up some crackers. Making more shapes. This one's a seahorse. Seahorses are my favorite because they only have one tiny little derpy fin and they just kind of pogo around the ocean. Not good at swimming. We have preheated the oven and we have cut out crackers. So we are going to put them in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Remember to set a timer. When your stuff is in the oven, it's time to clean. So you're not gross. I need a big mess. The messes are okay as long as you clean them up. Time to take them out. Ah, it fell. Come back. Ah. Now you gotta wait for them to cool before you eat them. That's real important or else you burn your mouth. Look, Billy, they're done. They look so good. Uh, in the time, it took you to make those cookies. Um, I may have fully floated. <laughs> I don't want them anymore. 
Bye. What? Can I? I made them for you. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be enjoying these crackers by myself. Mmm, they're really good. It kind of tastes like goldfish. I made a cocktail for myself too. Let's see if it tastes good with it. It's very alcoholic. Good. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you soon. Bye. For more details as they arrive, make sure to follow us on the Seagram. I think the humans call it Instagram, which can be found in the description below. <laughs> Happy sailing. Thank you.